is part six of that trope. So the boys finally made it to the beach. Newton started building a campfire and cooking some food. The boys were gathering sticks as the storm cell kind of rolled in. Shelly went off by himself and was playing around in a tide pool and his little psychopathic self was picking up tiny little crustaceans and he was ripping them apart, seeing them wriggle, seeing them feel pain, looking at their insides, knowing that he could play God. Bro's a little weirdo and he's just like, I wonder what this could feel like if it was, was a person. I want to rip a human being apart just like this. My god, it would be amazing. So here's another chapter cut to a court case. Case number 195. We are presenting a also more journal entries from the same psychologist, but it's Newton. I guess most of these boys seem the same uh, psychologist. But this journal entry was read in front of the court, and it consisted of Newton's backstory. The letter began addressing the psychologist, but it was like a journal entry slash letter. This is an open confessional. Since you wanted me to write about something personal and deep, dark secret that I, I have kept, well, here is my secret. Now, as you know, it doesn't take a, a lot of brain cells to figure out that I am a, I'm a chubby young lad, doctor. I, Newton, am a, a large boy, and I get made fun of for being a large boy. The, the boys in my scout troop are really mean about it, and I feel helpless. I enjoy nature. I know all of the Latin terms for most of the bugs and plants out here, and nobody likes that about me. I can learn things really quick, and my mom says I have a gift, but they laugh at me. Everybody laughs at me. I like comic books. I like music. I like video games. I am chronically online. You. You're chronically online, just like me. And nobody takes me seriously. But, but I found a way to connect with people. All I had to do was become attractive. Now, doctor, I know this, this is going to be a little fucked up, but I had a cousin. His name was Sherwood. And him and I got along. He's very attractive. Like, people like him for just existing because he's pleasing to look at. And me, nobody is wants to be around me because I'm not pleasing to look at. But whenever Sherwood comes over every year with my aunt and uncle, like, I'll take him out to the woods to my favorite spots and I'll point at plants and creatures. And he genuinely seems interested by the things I tell him. He learns a lot. And he's he, he doesn't get outside in nature very often, but when I have the opportunity to show him flowers or plants, and what edible plants are poisonous plants? He's like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Look, what, what's this then? Oh yeah, that's a blah, 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 blah. Like he, he asks questions. He's an active listener and I love that. And then last year, Sherwood passed away in an accident. Uh, he, he does work on a farm occasionally and there was a farm accident and my cousin died. And everyone was upset, and I uh, made a decision that I feel guilty about. You see, everybody likes Sherwood, even in death. Everybody talks about him, and people gloat over him, and they adore him. But nobody pays attention to me. At family gatherings, no one gives a frick about me, because I am me. But online, I can be anybody that I want to be. And I was in my room one day after school. I was going to print off a bunch of pictures that I had of him and create a little wall mural of me and my cousin together. But I had an idea. I mean, Facebook came out and I created a new account. And the picture was of Sherwood. I had an outlet to post about the things that I liked and was passionate about. But I used Sherwood's face. And people started liking me. I got friend requests. I uh, I found people that I went to school with. And the girls that I crushed on in school through Facebook. And I friended them. And they responded like immediately after. 
they thought I was my cousin. And I could post about plants. I could post about my favorite books or quotes or poems. And everyone liked that. They thought I was an attractive, smart guy like my cousin. So, doctor, I guess what I'm saying, I'm catfishing online as my dead cousin. And I feel guilty. But at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to stop doing it. Because if I post online with my face, I get called names. I'm a lol cow. I'm probably on Kiwi Farms, my guy. Nobody wants to hear from me. But when it's Sherwood, when it's his face, oh, they, they like a smart, attractive guy. And I guess this is my... I confession that I'm doing something really messed up and I kind of need help for it but but I like it and now in real life I'll do something and I guess my life quote is what would Sherwood do